Father, if it be possible, may this cup pass away from me. But if I drink it, then thy will be done. What was in that cup? He became sin for us. By one man's disobedience, sin entered into the world and death because of sin. And every sin that you can name, the vulgar, vile, wretched, rotten stuff, David was telling me about some other things that are unmentionable. And they were all in that cup. All that corruption was in that cup. He's the essence of purity, he's the essence of holiness. He was harmless and undefiled and separate from sinners, and yet he takes the most horrible thing this world has ever had, symbolic of all the sin of all the ages. You can mention it, all the physical corruption, lesbianism, every lousy, rotten, corrupt thing that sends men to jail, that makes men rot in their bodies. Every vicious thing, the pride and the anger and all the other things, the sins of the flesh, the sins of the spirit, and they're all there, and he took that cup. There's nobody there to sustain him. Except, of course, again, the Father. There's no violation here. There's no disagreement with the Father's will. He accepts this tremendous agonizing challenge. And I kind of wonder in my mind what he was seeing at that moment in the darkness. Why did he do it? Why did he do it? He did it for this reason. He said right through his life, all that he did, everything he did, pleased the Father. And you remember the verse that says, for the joy that was set before him, he suffered the cross despising the shame. Now, I don't believe there's any, I don't believe he had any joy in hanging on a cross. We try to be modest and they cover Jesus, you know, but I don't believe anybody crucified ever had a covering on him at all. And, and he goes to the cross and he endures the cross because that was the way that the Father had designed it. He came into the world for the sole purpose for 30 years. That cross never had a shadow over it. There was never any gloom over it, never any darkness over it in the truest sense of the word. This is the ultimate goal why I came into the world, that I might please the Father. It's the only way that redemption could be completed.